Well, I guess it pays to do your homework ahead of time, which I did not do because I wanted to get the new double steak grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. And I made it a lot harder on myself. If I had just done a little research ahead of time, I probably could have had a lot easier time. But at least I got it. Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy here? Thanks for joining me. Now, before we get started, if you like food reviews and snack tastings and food challenges, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you are notified every time I upload new videos and that way you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. <laughs> so I'm gonna warn you, I'm getting ready to rant just a little bit. So if you wanna skip over that part, you can click on this time right here if you just wanna see the review. But anyway, being in the food review community on YouTube, you know, I see a lot of other YouTubers and what they're reviewing. And I try to research ahead of time before I review a product. Well, we just got back from vacation not too long ago, and then we had a big chili cook off. And so I've been recovering and trying to catch up on a lot of things. So unfortunately, I did not do my research on this item from Taco Bell, but I did see that a lot of other YouTubers were already reviewing it. And I love Taco Bell, so I thought, okay, well, on my way home from work today, I will just go get one of these new double steak grilled cheese burritos, because that sounds good. Well, I get through the drive-thru, and I don't see it anywhere on the menu. And I said, uh, do you have this? And they said, yeah, but it's app only. It's like, oh, crap. Okay. So I, I said, there's no way that you can just make it for me. They said, no, they don't even have a button on the little computer for them to make it. You have to do it on the app. It's like, okay fine so I had to pull around into the parking lot sit there and download the app because I I had it once before and it was a pain in the butt I remember so I deleted it I I don't like these apps but I went ahead and re-downloaded it and tried to sign up and tried to find this new item this double steak grilled cheese burrito and it wouldn't let me order and it wouldn't work and it wouldn't work so finally I got fed up and I walked inside and I said, hey, can you help me? I want to order this. And so he finally was able to help me and made me feel stupid because I'm I'm not that old, but sometimes this technology is just a pain in the butt. But anyway, I got it ordered and had to sit there and wait for it for probably almost 10 minutes. And the only good thing that came out of it was I got a free cheesy gordita crunch. After all of that, it, it just seems like a pain in the butt. I don't like fast food apps. I don't know why. They do them the way they do. I like ones like if you've ever been to a speedy a Speedway, they have this program called Speedy Rewards where you basically just scan the app. You scan the barcode and you get to save all your points and all of that. And that's great. It's easy. You know, um, Starbucks is kind of like that too. You can just scan it. But when you offer specific items for app only, you incentivize using the app over just being able to go through the drive through and to me, when you're going to a fast food restaurant, a lot of times you're just driving along and you're like, I'm hungry, what's, what's out here? And you're looking for a restaurant and you just go what you see available. You don't wanna take the time to go find your app and go put in your order, especially if you're driving. To me, that just incentivizes trying to be on your phone while you're while you're trying to drive and put the order in that way that's that's dangerous you know whatever you order on the app you should be able to order in person to me it just it makes more sense but anyway that's that's my opinion i did put a little poll on my community page if you want to put your input on there what you think of fast food apps because personally i'm not a fan not the way they do them most most restaurants to me they're they're not convenient a lot of times they're not user friendly they're just a pain in the butt I would rather just have like the the grocery stores or speed, speedy rewards, just scan your barcode, barcode, save up your points and go do that way. But anyway, that's my rant, <laughs> it's over. So now let, let's get into this. This is the double steak grilled cheese burrito. Now I did do my research now, <laughs> I pulled up Chew Boom. If you're not familiar with Chew Boom, it's where a lot of YouTube food reviewers get their information. But it says, it features a double portion of the brand's marinated steak plus a double serving of seasoned rice, crunchy red tortilla strips, chipotle sauce, nacho cheese sauce, reduced fat sour cream, three cheese blend. It's all rolled up in a soft tortilla with cheese grilled onto the outside of the tortilla. So it makes its debut on November 11th when it's just going to be available to everybody. But I ordered it a day early when it's only available on the app. And that was why I had so much trouble. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at it because 
I'm hungry now. So they actually have two versions. They've got a spicy and a regular. So the only difference is the spicy has jalapenos on it. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, it looks like a burrito <laughs> with grilled cheese on the outside. It's like they just threw some shredded cheese on it and grilled it. But it's pretty hefty. It was $11.98 for two of them. So basically $6 for this burrito. I don't know if it's worth that. Most stuff on Taco Bell's menus, pretty affordable. That's why I usually like them. I don't know if this is worth $6, but I mean, it's pretty hefty. Let's see what the other one looks like. Well, just as I figured, exactly the same. So <laughs> I'm not sure which one's the spicy and which one's not. <laughs> I guess we'll just bite into one and find out because it's kind of hard to rip open. It's all nice and sealed on both ends and the sides. So this may be the spicy. It may be the regular. I don't know. Here we go. Eat to Dakimas. Okay, you can see inside there now. This one looks like it must be the regular because I don't see any jalapenos but I had to get a couple bites in before I could even get to that filling. But you can see the steak and the red tortilla strips. Okay, there's rice in it, nacho cheese, sour cream, cheese, chipotle sauce. Oh, rice, I guess. So you got that nice chipotle flavor. If you've ever had their little chicken chipotle wraps, they're only a dollar. It's one of my favorite things to get. It's really tasty and it's really cheap too. <laughs> so I like that Chipotle flavor. It's got a little kick from the nacho cheese, but it, it also has a good flavor with that steak. I like that better than the ground beef. You know how their, their ground beef has kind of that signature flavor to it. This doesn't quite have that because of the steak instead. I think it's got a better flavor. So that's, that's pretty good. And they didn't overdo it on the rice. Sometimes if you put rice in something like that, the rice is so filling, it just, kind of overshadows everything else, but you still get the flavor of the steak and the cheese. That's really good. I don't know if the the grilled cheese on the outside is necessarily doing much. Maybe if you had them grill it a little longer, it might give it a more, that crispy cheese fl uh, flavor, but it's really just melted shredded cheese is all it is. But I, I'm guessing this one is the spicy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it apart. Huh. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there are jalapenos in this one. So let's see how the spicy one compares. <clears throat> okay, really there's not, not a big difference. I don't know how many jalapenos they put on it, but I don't really taste much of a, a spiciness to it. I, mean, I took a couple bites out of the middle and I, I don't even see any more jalapenos. Maybe if they added more, there might be more in this other side but it it doesn't really change it if you don't like spicy stuff i think you could still handle that like there's not really much of a spiciness at all just the most spice you're getting is from that chipotle sauce and the cheese the nacho cheese so it, it's all pretty good it's pretty tasty they advertise this as having special early access on the app if you get it a day or two early you think they should have given it for a lower price too, but $6 is a little hefty, I think. But it's still really good. It's really tasty. And if it was cheaper, I would probably get it on a regular basis. That is, is really good. I'm guessing the higher price might be because of the steak. But anyway, I've rambled enough. So now time for the overall rating. I'm rating this on flavor and value. Flavor, I probably give it about a 9.2. That is really good, officially endorsed by Who's Your Daddy. <laughs> but it, if I had to give it a, a rating on value as well, that would probably bring it down to about an eight. So it's still good, still worth getting. I liked it a lot, but I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a lot to pay for one burrito for $6. When I go to Taco Bell, I like to get multiple items and if you get the cheaper one, two, three dollar things, you can get a few things and still not spend too much. But when you're spending $6 on a burrito, I mean, that's all you're going to get. And it would probably take two of these to fill me up. I know they're, they're pretty hefty. I mean, if, if you don't have as big of an appetite as me, you might be able to 
be okay with one, but anyway, okay, so that's it. That's the double steak grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. If you've tried this, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it, and if you agree or disagree. Also, let me know what is your favorite item to get at Taco Bell. I don't think I've ever had anything from Taco Bell I didn't like. They usually do a pretty good job, so this is still pretty tasty. Don't forget to check out all my links down in the description below. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you again next time. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.